Hello, welcome back to Cinema Burger, where I bring you movie reviews from a different perspective. So hey, we're here to talk about the Netflix original movie, Mank, starring uh, Gary Oldman, uh, Amanda Siegfried, Lily Collins, and it's directed by David Finch. Now, Mank is about Herman Mankiewicz, who was the writer of Citizen Kane back in the 30s, and how he wanted to get recognition for writing a movie since writers weren't really acknowledged back then and the pressure of the MGM Studios and Orson Welles put on him. So let's begin. Now the movie is filmed in black and white since a lot of movies were back in the 30s and each scene and scene transition you'll see on screen like you'll say like It'll be like a script itself, it'll say like day, exterior, whatever year, and things like that, which I thought was pretty interesting. Because while Howard Herman Mankiewicz is writing Citizen Kane, he had a car accident in which he was somewhat paralyzed or needed a wheelchair. So while he's in this like hotel room writing the script, he's remembering things that led up to the moment now. So, it's a lot of interactions with Hollywood producers and stars, and uh, it's just very entertaining to watch. There's also a fear of, like, communism coming, and, like, the fear that the Hollywood industry or the movie industry was going to leave California because of, like, I guess prices and things like that. And there are a lot of times where they portray Orson Welles as the devil, which is pretty interesting, like, oh, like, do what you have to at any cost kind of thing, and, like, he's pressured into choosing a side between, like, who's running for, like, the mayor of California or something like that as well. Now, he also, Herman Mankiewicz had a very short amount of time to write Citizen Kane, and as near the end when he has to pitch the movie to uh, the executives and things like that, he does the whole thing drunk because the character is an alcoholic. And this is probably like the best scene in the movie because after he's done he like throws up after from drinking too much. Now they show the race for governor during this time. It's not mayor, it's governor. And for the Democrat party Upton Sinclair is running for governor and Upton Sinclair was a writer and a political activist and he is played by Bill Nye the science guy which is very interesting and unexpected cameo if you blink you might miss him but I just thought it's interesting that he had a movie cameo because usually he just did his TV show and videos on Discovery Channel now overall I don't know how accurate this movie was to what actually happened back in the 30s but it showed at the end that after Citizen Kane won an awards how Herman Mankiewicz was recognized for writing the movie but after that never again tried to and it would still be a long time until writers were recognized in Hollywood for their talents. I'd have to give Mank a uh, three and a half out of five burgers because it was very interesting to watch especially in black and white and the showing the interesting scene transitions that looked like a script itself and Gary Oldman was amazing in this and um, the movie is over two hours long but it never feels like its length which is always a good thing the worst thing is that when a movie feels like its runtime so that was Mank. We'll be back soon with more 2020 movie catch-up. I'm Scott Berger, and I'll see you next time.